Hey everybody, it's time for another real life superhero debut costume intro and this time I'm debuting my actual sweatsuit with zipper, not a skinny jeans or I haven't debuted it on this um I haven't debuted it on this page yet, but and, but my but it but it is on my Facebook fan page, and that is my baggy my baggy sweatsuit with zipper with khaki pants, khaki and military pants. Um, yeah, this is an actual sweatsuit with actual sweat and jogging pants. Even though I'm wearing sweatpants and trunks with blue trunks, and the in this um shot, yeah, but this is the actual sweatsuit costume. I have multiple variations. Multiple color variations. Variations like an actual superhero. Like an actual cartoon character. Where you have multiple where you have multiple colors of the same clothes. The exact same thing. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. This is a brand new debut. This is a brand new debut real life superhero debut for various reviews, rants, and other other topics. So and I also debut a new song. Yeah, let me talk about that. Gotta give credit where it's due. Yeah, I've been watching a you a, a female YouTube user name what was her name? Um what was her name was Annie something. Her name was Annie Mellon. I think that's her name. Annie Mellon. Anyway, she react. She's known to be a huge Dragon Ball and anime fan, and she reacts to the Team Four Star anime and various other, various other, the Team Four Star abridged Dragon Ball abridged series and various other abridged and anime based um series. In in her specific video, she, in her video, she it as part of her outro she she debuted a song called something you can never own which is which is a free which is a free to use song i hope the people who create who who performed and created this song do not mind me using it in my um video video and that is the band is called netflix and they have a and they performed a song called something you can never own that will be the intro that will be the intro for this brand new costume. So, um, with that being said, let's get started right now. Thank <laughs> you. 
make the thing that you can never run. I feel this pain, you already know. Turn back to games, let my body show. I got these things that I can't let go. Watch me turn this life into something that you can never run. Hey everybody, it's time for my part two, I mean it's time for my, yeah it's time for my real life superhero remake of my rant on George Floyd and the George Floyd riots. This will be a remade real life superhero squeaky clean version of my 2021 rant on George Floyd and the George Floyd riots. That rant was brutal. That rant was so brutal, he got flagged for cyberbullying, cyberbullying, harassment, and hate speech. And hate speech. This one, this one, this one will be less vulgar and less, um, this one will be less vulgar and less br brutal, uh, less brutal. And like I said in the previous, um, video, which was an apology to George Floyd's family, the original, the original version I did, the original version I did will be will be re-uploaded to other social media platforms, social media pla social media um platforms. Oh, and by the way, you probably didn't notice this in um the previous one previous ones, but um, yeah, videos like this, videos like this from now on will be comments will be disabled. I forgot to mention that in the last one. Comments will be disabled for videos like this because. Just don't want to take chances with YouTube's stupid um, guidelines. Guidelines. So um, yeah, videos like this, especially where I'm attacking a person or a group, most of them, not all of them, but most of them will be will be um, commonly will be will be um, disabled. It will be uh, the comments will be disabled. So with that being said, let me get started right now. Yeah. Yeah. George Floyd. George Floyd. Like I said, just because I apologize to his family, just because I apologize to his family, my opinions. Oh yeah, my opinions of George. Oh yeah, my opinions of George Floyd have not. My opinions of George Floyd have not. Um. Have not changed. Have not changed. In my opinion, in my opinion, um, in my opinion, okay, I'm going to look at it from a, I'm going to look at it from a humanitarian standpoint, and especially what I am now, a real life superhero standpoint, and I'm going to tell you from my standpoint, which is a, which is a vigilante, which is a vigilante. In my opinion, yeah, I guess no one truly deserves, no one truly, no one truly deserves to, um, no one truly deserves to die, but no one truly deserves to die. But when you're doing what Floyd was doing, that is usually the end result. That is usually the end result. And if Floyd had complied, firstly, number one, not committed the crime in the first place. Number two, complied, he'd still be alive. He'd still be alive. He'd still be alive um, today. Like Candace Owens said, George Floyd, he didn't. He, he didn't. He didn't deserve to die. He deserved to be arrested. He deserved to be arrested for his crimes that he knowingly committed. He knowingly committed. That's once again. That's from the real life superhero, real life superhero and humanitarian standpoint. Now, I'm gonna remind you who I am. I'm a bully, vigilante, psychopath, psychopath, and action, an action, an action hero. So, so. For me, so for me, George Floyd, he got everything. George Floyd got everything he deserved. Everything he deserved that day. People keep saying, oh, people keep saying, people keep saying, what what did George Floyd do to deserve that? Well, not only did he do a bunch of crimes before that, but the one big crime, he falsified, he falsified, he falsified a um. He falso he falsified a counter I mean he 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 paid he he falsified a counterfeit he paid for stuff with a counterfeit with a counterfeit bill with a counterfeit bill 
When it returned, what he stole, all he had to do, this was his first chance. People keep saying, oh, George Floyd did not have a chance. George Floyd's never had a chance. He had multiple chances to save his miserable life. The first one, the first one, first one, how, first one, if actually, number one, how about you not commit the crime? George Floyd, the guy there, the guy there, the guy there told him, you can't pass that $20 bill, you can't pass that counterfeit $20 bill here. George Floyd kept doing it, and he, he went out, he waited for a while, he waited till a new person was at the desk. He waited till a new person was at the desk, and he did it. And he did and, 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 and he did it again. And this time he got away with it. The guy, this guy is hurt. This guy is hurt to this day. This guy is hurt and is traumatized to this day because it was this guy who did what he was supposed to do, and that was report Floyd's twenty-dollar bill to the store to the store manager to the store manager. George Floyd. George Floyd did. The guy did that. The guy did that, and um, and um, the officers, and the, and the officers, sh uh, and, and they showed, and the officers showed up to George Floyd's car. Firstly, on number one, George Floyd, all you had to do was, all you do was, give, uh, um, all you do was give back what he stole. All you do was George Floyd refused. This guy refused. Number three, then the number three. Number there, and then number three, my favorite part. Okay, you want to give back what you stole? You don't want to atone for your crime? You don't want to atone for your crime? You want to? You want to be? You want to be a? You want to be a hard ass? You want to be a tough guy? You want to be a tough guy? You want to be a gangster? You want to be a G? You want to be a real N word? All right then. All right then. Um. All right then. Some women are going to arrest you. The prison systems and the graveyards have plenty of people like you. So George Floyd. George Floyd. So they said they tried to arrest George Floyd, and George Floyd gave the excuse about him being claustrophobic when he was just in the car when they approached him. And he's been a, and he's been arrested numerous times before this, and he had been in a car all of his time. Why is it all of a sudden now a problem? And people like they're trying to come up with um, people trying to come up with ways to defend him. There's no defending. George Floyd committed a crime, and he just couldn't do the time. He just couldn't do the time. Sorry, I can never appreciate or respect someone like that who knowingly commit a crime. Who normally commit a crime and then decided, yeah, I'm not gonna do the, I'm not gonna do the time. Like I said before, me and my dad got to fighting about this in 2014, and I still, and I, st I still, and I still hate him for for this day when it came, when it came to Mike Brown. We were talking about this. My dad openly admit that these that that these people, I um, my dad openly admitted that these people um, these people were perfectly okay with committing a crime, but uh, they can't seem to do that time. So, cause why are we talking? The, the, why are we talking about the victim, the victims, the victims here? They made their decision. They chose to. They chose to commit a crime. They chose to resist arrest, and the, this is the end result that they got. And that's what happened to Floyd. Then the documentary reveals he has to be put on the floor. He has to be put on um, the floor, and he was saying he couldn't breathe before that. And then the people try to say, well, he was calling out for his mama. The mama was his. Apparently that was false too. Was his girlfriend? No part. Of, yeah, no part of this was what's his name. Then they try to say, oh, George, Derek, Derek. Um, I mean, yeah, yeah, Derek Chauvin. Derek Chauvin killed. Derek Chauvin killed him with the knee. Let me tell you something, people. I was even willing. I'm. I was even willing and still willing to do the knee to to to, to have someone knee knee on my um. Put a knee on my head. For a couple of minutes, for a couple of um, minutes, to prove that alone didn't kill him. The knee helped, but it was also, it was also the lethal amount, the lethal amount of drugs, the fentanyl that he took, that also that did him in, that did him in, that um, that um, that um, that did him, that um, that did him in. So um. So um, yeah, and in my opinion, my opinion, he got what he des he got what he deserved. He got what he he got he he got he got what he deserved. The um, he got what he deserved. Multiple years prior to that event, multiple years prior to that event, he like I said, he and this is one crime. I don't care what what he does. I will never respect him after this crime, and I will judge. Yeah, yeah, mate, yeah, yeah. I understand that. Lord Jesus Christ Himself is the ultimate judge for good and evil, but I will judge. I will judge. I will judge and hate you for something like this. And that is, 
he him and his friends him and his friends robbed him and his friends robbed a um, pregnant woman at gunpoint. They, they they pulled a scam where they pretended to be people from the water company. When the woman saw that they weren't what they were, she tried to close the door. They forced their way in. They forced their way in, stole a bunch of things, took advantage of this woman, and held a gun, held held her to held her a pregnant woman at gunpoint, at gunpoint, and and robbed and and made off and made off with her own money, made off with their money. So they. So they pulled us scam. They did a home invasion. They bullied and took advantage of this pregnant woman. Well, guess what? Derek Chalmers. Derek Chalmers, who's a, who 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 has a history who according to Wikipedia, he has a history of using lethal force and violence. De Derek Chauvin, all he did was return the, return the favor what George Floyd did to that woman years ago. Yeah, George Floyd being in jail, and yeah, in my opinion, that wasn't good enough. That wasn't good enough, and he got his karma, and and he got his karma right here. I'm on Derek Chauvin's. I want Derek Chauvin's side. I often pray for Derek Chauvin, and I'm glad he did what he did. I'm glad he did what he did today, and I have no problems with what he, what he did, which really wasn't that much. Like I said, Derek Chauvin's knee contributed it, but it was the drugs he, he committed. But even so, even if, even even if so, I don't monitor. I don't monitor. I don't monitor, and I don't I, I don't monitor or pay respects to criminals, people who take advantage and do horrible things to people when they're alive. And all of a sudden, all of a sudden, when they die, all of a sudden when they die, when they die, all everyone wants to be boo boo. He didn't deserve. He didn't deserve it. Like I say, he deserved everything that happened to him. That day, and he got bullied and taken advantage of. He got bullied and taken advantage of, and treated with little, treated with little mercy, kind of like he treated that woman. He took advantage of that woman, and Derek Chauvin took advantage of him. And even like I said, even though I'm on Derek Chauvin's side, both got what was coming to him. Derek Chauvin got his karma, got his karma because he has a history of excessive violence. He has a history of excessive violence, violence and using excessive force against people. And George Floyd. And George Floyd got what he got what was coming to him for his recent for his for his past crimes and the recent crime and the um and the recent um the recent um recent crime recent crime here. He was not the the narrative that he was trying to get his life back together, maybe that that may that may have been his goal, but what he was doing, he was not really trying to get his life back together because he was doing everything he shouldn't do. He was buying, doing drugs. He was buying, he was buying and um, doing drugs, paying for things with fake money, paying for things with um, paying for things with fake money, and resisting um, resisting the rest. And the trackers is assumed. Well, he was high. He was high. Um, I don't care how high he was. I'm pretty sure. He, I'm pretty sure. He, I'm pr I don't care how high he was. That's not an excuse either. You can still sit down in a. Um, you can still sit down in the car. George Floyd committed a crime and did it. And instead of taking the L and doing the time that goes with it, no, he chose to resist arrest and uh, he got what was coming to him. He got what was coming to him. Now we talked about Floyd. Let's get on to you rioters. Let's get on to those rioters. For like a for like several months and I guess a year and a half because I stopped I still think it was going on in 2021. Once again, just like with just like with um was just like with Ferguson and Baltimore. And it was Baltimore wide band. This is any respect, any admiration I ever had for Afro Americans. This was the sh this was the straw that broke the camel's back. After this, I immediately abandoned on any respect I have for Afro um. Afro Americans, and when it comes to when it comes to Afro Americans, I always side against them and always side with you. Not only did you tear up public property, loot, and steal from stores over criminals, not innocent people who died, criminals, criminals, but you had the they you had the gall, you had the gall to walk up to innocent peoples, walk up onto innocent people's property, protesting, destroying things. Destroying these people who have nothing to do with your vengeance, who have nothing to do with the mur with the murders and deaths of Mike Brown, Freddie Gray, and now George Floyd, and the other people that they're rioting and protesting for people, people, innocent people you never had any encounters with. You destroyed their what you call it. You, the, the the ensuing George Floyd riots caused his niece to get to get shot. It caused David Dorn, an an, an Afro American officer. 
an Afro-American officer who was trying to prevent a guy from stealing from the store, it caused him to get shot and killed. Then it caught, um, then, then the next, then the next, then, oh, then there was a, there was one about a white man. There was one about a white man, a white homeless man. You burned, you burned his place. You burned the place where he lived. What did this white homeless man, other than him being white, what did he have to do with George Floyd's murder? That's another thing too. Why I'll never side with you. Wouldn't never side, never side with um, pro blacks, pro blacks, pro blacks, and um, in words when it comes to pro blacks. Um, when it comes to you pro blacks. Um, when it comes to you pro blacks. When it comes to you um, pro blacks. You don't fight actual white people. You don't fight actual white people or white supremacy. Yet you tell other you timid you you tell other people and you intimidate other people about uh, other Afro Americans and talk to them about white supremacy. Instead, you threaten and do horrible things to other brown people, other Afro Americans. Then you would then um then when you're in front of white people, not only you're not doing anything to them, you kiss up to them. You kiss up to them and, and brag about the success and brag about the success you have and look down on other Afro-Americans who unfortunately, who unfortunately don't have, who unfortunately don't have that, unfortunately don't have that. Then, um, then when it's time to fight white people, you go after the weaker ones. You go after the weaker ones, the ones who can't and will not, who will, who will not, um, fight back in ones you have never had anything to do you have never had anything to do with when it comes to all oh, you talk about how mad you are about slavery which doctor of common sense mentioned it's doctor of common sense mentioned you don't do your research and go to the actual family and group of people who enslaved you now nah, you go to a white person who's never owned slaves who never had anything who you've never had anything to do with in your life Who you've never had anything to do with in your life, who you've never had anything to do with in your life, and you go up to, you tear up their property, you loot, you loot their stores too. There were three, um, three online influencers. One is Jen Atkins, and the other is um. Keep forgetting what the other two names were. Both of them, one of the guys who was the biggest victim of the George Floyd riots, one of the biggest victims of George Floyd's riots. Th th their response to him being mad about um, him being mad about the people looting his stores was, oh, oh, you shouldn't. You number one, they shouldn't be mad at him because number one, a lot of people don't shop there anywhere, any any anyway. Number two, then their second one was even worse, saying, oh, he shouldn't be mad at the protesters. He should understand what they're doing, what they're doing. I hate that. I hate when people who wrong my family does this. I hate when people who wrong people. Who, who knowingly wrong people and they're the same person telling you not to be mad and they get mad when you all you do was retaliate and yell and scream at a person who was no, who was either who was doing something who was he was intentionally doing something to victimize or intentionally doing something that exploits a disorder or a problem you have and causing you to erect causing you to causing you to causing you to overreact causing you to intentionally over over overreact my family my family does that and then they get mad at me for rightfully retaliating for exploiting something I have a problem, exploiting something I have a problem, or doing something that they know will knowingly um angry and they and they're the ones. They're the ones to tell me that, that, that to, to not be angry and get over it when they're the ones who cause it in the first place. This woman had the audacity to say, Oh, don't be mad at them, don't be mad at them, be mad at um don't be mad at them. Be mad at police officers and understand where the rioters are coming from because they're just protesting for their right to for their right to um, live, for their right to um, live, or for their right to um, for their right to um, live live um, live. And I'm like, cops aren't trying to kill you. If you're not doing anything, you have no business doing. Cops are not trying to kill you. Now, yes, there are there are races. There are extremely racist and corrupt and bad cops out there. Bad cops, um, bad, um, racist and corrupt bad cops out there. But guess what? They have to follow. They have to follow the rules too. The most racist, the most bigoted cop, he or she has to follow the rules. You cannot go around arrest. And you cannot go around arresting and killing people for no apparent, for no apparent, for no um, for no um 
apparent reasons. And the ones who do do these things, you see what happens. They, they're punished. They're either they're they're punished. They're fired from the force, or they're put in prison. For depending on their um, depending on their crime. For the for the, the for the for the seven plus situations where the cop was wrong, where the cop truly victimized an Afro American in any way, convicted or victimized them, and he or she was wrong. You see what happens. You see what happens. They get kicked off the force, or they go, or they um, or they go to jail. So um. Yeah, um, um, yeah, like I said, the guidelines, like I said, YouTube guidelines prevent me from saying it, but, um, but, um, yeah, but, but when you ride and steal from stores, you're irredeemable, you're irredeemable, you're irredeemable at that point, and whatever happens to you, whatever happens to you, happen, happens to you, and it's because of that, once again, I will never side with or be or be respectful towards Afro Americans again. I'll always side against you. I'll always throw you under the bus when talking when talking to you when talking about other races. And I'll always say and expose the things that you want that you want to keep hidden that everyone knows about that you don't like talking about. You like it when we kiss your butt, but you don't like it when we point out your flaws and stuff. So you call us Uncle Tom's Coons and every dirty name in the book and try to intimidate try to intimidate and bully and yeah and it's not happening we're going to say the things that that what that white people and other races can't say about you which i'm really getting tired of we're really getting tired of really getting tired of they get you guys get so mad at us disrespecting george floyd when we're not the ones who killed him all we, yeah and you dedicate so much energy to talking trash about us to talking trash about us and wishing ill will on us when we're not the ones who killed him we're just the ones we're just the ones not showing sympathy and the ones mock, mock and the ones mocking mocking him. You th you dedicate more time to me than the people than the people who actually kill him, and that's the same with all, all the other ones. And then when you're proven wrong, when you're proven wrong once again, twice, when you were proven wrong, when you were proven um, when you were proven wrong, no apologies, no anything. You just move on to to the next case that's um that's racist when Tawana Brawley lies when Tawana Brawley lied on that white man lied on that white man claiming that white man raped raped her raped, raped her no apologies when the when Crystal Magnum the Duke Lacrosse woman lied when Duke Lacrosse woman lied Duke Lacrosse woman lied nothing the people who the people the Duke Lacrosse team Still lost. They, st they lost their entire season in scholarships, and nothing was done. Nothing was done. Yeah, they were acquitted of charges, but nothing was done about their lost season and lost um everything, everything. The third one, Juanita Gibson, who lied about Brian Banks, Brian B who lied about Brian Banks. Brian Banks spent five, five to six years in prison over a lie from a um from a um what from a um. Woman, but once again, when it, every time it was proven to be wrong, you were nowhere. You were nowhere there. You were nowhere um there. Four, four, and then four, four, five, and six. Four, four, and five. Baltimore and Ferguson. Once again, when you were proven wrong, nothing. No apology. No anything. No anything. And this one, once again, once again, George Floyd, Black Lives Matter, Patrice Colors, Patrice Colors. There are several um, documentaries saying that the was proven that the knee alone did not kill Floyd, and that it was mostly the drugs. Number two, Patrice Cullors, the Black Lives founder, me, um, founder, her and the rest were exposed for fraud. The money that they raised on the backs of George Floyd and many other Afro Americans' debts, they used to buy, they used to the, the buy large mansions in white people's neighborhoods. In white people's neighborhoods, and to this day, you haven't said anything about that. It took, it took, it took, it, it took us coons and Uncle Toms to speak up and say about, to say, say about it. None of the actual pro blacks are doing anything about it because a lot of you, a lot, a lot of you aren't saying or doing anything about it because a lot of you are the same scumbag that Patrice colors, Patrice um colors is. Instead, you're you're you're, you're angry. You're angry. You're so in, you're angry about Candace Owens and Kanye West wearing a White Lives Matter T-shirt. Yeah, that's why I will never side with you on anything. And I'll always mock, bash, throw you, and throw you under um, the bus. Well.
Yeah. So yeah, this is why I ran on George Floyd. And as always, you got a problem. You got a problem with what I'm. You got a problem with what I'm saying. Well, come over here, and come over here and do something. Come over here and do something about it. Because as always, when you need your butt kicked. Call Douglas Blair Roberts, the Super Vader 400, the brown skinned human, the real life superhero, the action hero, and I will correct what your parents do. Well, I will correct what your parents didn't do and what your forefathers didn't do, and I will kick your butt. Until then, you got a problem with what I'm saying, as always. And if you still got a problem with it, until then, but until that glorious day comes, as always, suck on these nuts and kiss the brownest, whitest, and stinkiest part of my ass. Alright, you want to hear the rest of the music? Turn the video off right now. Turn this life into something that you can never own 